Hey guys, welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today I'm going to be looking at Algebra 2, Unit 2, and we are looking at Lesson 2, which is Polynomial Operations. You can also refer back to Algebra 1, Unit 5, Lessons 4 and 5, um, and there will be more videos and um, information on this as well if you need more practice. So operations with polynomials just means we're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, um, we're not looking at dividing, but that is also an operation, but we're just focusing on adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. So polynomials, you know, can be anywhere from a monomial like 2x, sorry, let me get a different color, like 2x, or you could have a trinomial like x squared minus 3x plus 5. Okay, that's what I mean when I say polynomial. We're adding these, we're subtracting these, and we're multiplying these. So, um, when you're adding and subtracting, the same rules apply, except you have to watch out for signs when you're subtracting. Okay? But when you're adding and subtracting polynomials, you can't combine unless they are like terms. And remember, like terms have to have the same variable raised to the same power. So, if we have 2x cubed, I could combine that with, let's say, a 13x cubed. And I would combine the coefficients, 2 plus 13 is 15, and then you keep the x cubed. But if I had, let's say, 2x squared plus 13x cubed, I cannot do anything else here. This is completely simplified because these are not the same. They're not like terms, so we couldn't go any further there. Um, same with subtract, uh, subtracting. So with adding and subtracting, you can't combine unless you have like terms. With multiplying, they do not have to be like terms, and we'll look at that in a minute. But let's do um, a subtraction problem. So let's say that we have 3x cubed minus 2x squared, sorry about that, plus 5 minus, let's do 7x squared minus x plus 1. Okay, so... We're subtracting here, just be careful, because we are subtracting this whole thing. We're subtracting that whole 7x squared minus x plus 1. So I need to make sure that I distribute this negative to everything in there, because we're subtracting everything in there. Okay. The first one, there's no subtraction sign out here, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to drop off the parentheses here and rewrite it, and then distribute here. So that would be a negative, and you can put a 1 here if that helps it, but negative 1 times 7x squared is just negative 7x squared. Negative 1 times negative x would be a positive x, and negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So now I can combine like terms. Well, I've got a 3x cubed, but there's no other 3x cubed here, so there's nothing I can comb combine that with. I've got a negative 2x squared, and I have a negative 7x squared, so I will be able to combine those. I've got a 5 and a negative 1, so I can combine those. And I also have just this x here, which is also its own term. There's nothing to combine it with. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down my 3x cubed. Okay, I'm done with those. Now I'm looking at the greens. I've got negative 2x squared minus 7x squared. So since those are like terms, I would do negative 2 minus 7, which is negative 9, and then just keep my x squared. So now I'm done with those. And then I have the 5 and then the minus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4. That's a positive 4. And I also have that plus x. Now, in the end, you really should put this in descending order. So that's highest exponent to lowest exponent, and that's called uh, standard form. So first would be my 3x cubed then my x squared, then my x, and then my constant. Okay. So again, for adding and subtracting, you have to have like terms. Now for multiplying, you do not have to have like terms. Okay. Sorry, I don't seem to have a clear page option here. And my eraser is very small. So this is just taking a minute. Okay, so let's say that I want to multiply 3x to the 4th 
and negative 5xy. Okay. We can multiply these. This is a monomial times a monomial. And I just multiply my coefficients. So 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. And then for my variables, I've got x to the 4 times x, which there's an x. It's really x to the 1st. When I multiply these, I keep the x and I add my exponents. So I get 5. And I also have a y there, so I'm just going to rewrite the y because I didn't have anything to combine it with. So we just get negative 15x to the 5th y. Now we also have things like a binomial times a binomial or a binomial times a trinomial. Let's say that I have this because this is probably one of the hardest ones. And it's not hard, it just takes a uh, little time because there's lots of steps here. So I've got a binomial, I've got x plus 3 times 2x cubed minus 2x plus 7. Okay, when we're multiplying here, I need to multiply everything in the first polynomial, the x plus 3. I need to multiply the x times everything in this. I also need to multiply the 3 times everything in that as well. So I'm going to show by drawing arrows x times that, x times that, x times that, and then 3 times each of those as well. So when I do that, when I do x times 2x cubed, I get 2, I'm going to write it up here. Actually, I'm going to erase this so I have some space. When I multiply that, I get x times 2x cubed. And Understand, that is a 1 in front, so 1 times 2 is 2, and that's x to the 4th because there's an understood 1 there, and you add those exponents. So then I've got 1x times negative 2x, so 1 times negative 2 is negative 2, and I've got x to the 1st times x to the 1st, so that will be x to the 2nd when I add those. And I've got 1x times 7, so that's going to give me 7x. Now I need to move to the 3. I've got 3 times 2x cubed, which would be 6x cubed. Then I've got 3 times negative 2x, which would be negative 6x, and 3 times 7, which is 21. And now I need to go through and combine like terms. So I can't combine anything with the x to the fourth because there are no other x to the fourth. I can combine this negative 2x squared with nothing because there's no x squareds. I can combine this 7x with this negative 6x. There's nothing I can combine this x to the third with or this 21. So I'm just underlining them in different number of lines. So the only thing that can combine here is this 7x and this negative 6x. So I've got my 2x to the fourth, and I'm going to go in order from highest exponent to lowest. The next one I have is a positive 6x cubed. Then I've got a negative 2x squared. Now I can combine my 7x and minus 6x. That becomes 1x, or just x, and then that plus 21. And it is in standard form because it is in order from highest exponent to lowest exponent. All right, you guys have a great day.